Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics paper. Today we will discuss about the next 6 questions start from the 16 to 21 with the help of the shortcut tricks. We have discussed the previously about the 11 to 15 questions. So myself Dr. Gar, working in the School of Mathematics Taft Institute. You can simply follow this link for finding the various shortcuts and the previous year solutions for the GATE and the CSR net examinations. So you can see this is my playlist CSR net where you can find all those previous year papers GATE 2021 complete are there 2022 also channel name is my Dr. Harishkar where you can follow and subscribe it. So let's start with this uh, this is carry one marks each are there then you have to find the values of this uh, summations are there. There's a very simple task about there there is no need to think about any of things. So firstly you have to look about this what is that your target is to find the values of this that is the inner product of g j f of k so if you look about carefully about this now summation is varies from the k but what is the value of the j what is the value of the j they are not talking about anything it means you can take j as any value so let's say i can take j as a one so then the answer is dependent upon the j if i take j is one the first answer is zero this will be one this is a four so you can see there are the two unique there are the two same answers are there it means you are unable to make a decision when j is one because the answer is only one correct answer if i take j is equal to two then what will happen this is a zero this is four this is 16 this one now you can see all are my unique answers so it means what i can do is i can start with the value of j is two in this question so now what will happen if i take j is two then what will happen of the g two so it means summation start from 1 to 2 so it will my e1 minus of e2 that's fine now what is given to you ei's are my orthonormal basis what is the meaning of that ei dot ej it will be 1 whenever i is equal to j and otherwise 0 that's the meaning of the ortho orthonormal now we can start with here so i can take j's j is my 2 so i can substitute here so j2 and f1 plus g2 f2 plus g2 f3 and so on now we can substitute the value what is the g2 so g2 is my e1 minus e2 what is the f1 f can be computed from here so that is my e1 plus e2 of whole square plus e2 my e1 minus e2 and is e2 plus e3 whole square and so on now you can see that what will happen if you take e1 of e1 e1 of e1 that's when i is 1 this is a 1 e1 e2 that will be a 0 e2 e1 that's a 0 e2 e2 is a 1 plus e1 e2 that's a 0 e1 e3 that's a 0 e2 minus e2 that's a 1 e2 e3 is my 0 and after that what will happen if you look about that this is my e1 minus e2 and it's a e3 plus e4 so you can see all the values are my 0 0 0 and 0 and similarly for all are my zeros so what will happen this is my 0 this is my minus 1 square that's a minus 1 square is my plus 1 so the right answer is my here corresponding to j is 2 the right answer is my this is the correct option well, this is a j is one for all the values of the j so that's why answer is first one is the correct answer okay look over the next one is there so you have to check with which one is the connected or not are there okay so what is the a a is this circle center is my zero zero radius is my one b is again whose center is my two comma zero and radius is my one so that means this is my here uh, this is my here. there is no intersection of this so now what is that this is my a this is my b now what is that m is the union of a and b so that means m is my here complete this is my m and n is the interior of a so what is the interior of a what is the interior of a that is a less than so it's a strictly less than here what is the interior of b again it's a less than so it means what will happen this is my interior of the a and this is my interior of the b 
this is my interior of a this is my interior of b now your target is to check which one is a connected so all of you know what is the meaning of the connected it means if you take the two points in the set if you join them without breaking these uh, if if you join them all the points in uh, joining through all the points are there for example if i consider these two points like one here you can join all this so this point is intersecting from here and this is a part of this is a part of m that is a part of the a union b again if you take one point here second point here you can go to this 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 and this again you can take all those point which are lies inside it it means this is my connected so once m is connected either the first option this is cancel out m is not connected here but if you look about here if i consider this point if i consider another point here you can go from this you have to cross this point but this point is not belong to my n n is my interior of union so you can see this point does not belongs to this so there is no way you can connect these two points like x2 and x1 without crossing this but this point does not belongs to this it means this is not connected so it means this option cancel out so the right answer is only m is connected but n is not connected look about the another one this is the sequence are there so uh, uh, that's a, firstly you have to check whether it's a convergent or not so what what is the meaning of the sequence is convergent it means if you take this limit it should goes to the finite that's the meaning of the convergent so if i take the limits on the both side limit n approaches infinity so it will be l it is l by 2 plus 1 by l so you can see if i take the lcm it's a 2l square is l square plus of 2 so what is the meaning of that l square is my 2 so l is my plus minus root 2 now what is the meaning of that l is plus 2 and l is minus of what is the meaning of that it converges so first of all it's a divergent that's a cancel out because it's a convergent when it converts to the positive limit so we all knows when it converts to the positive limit when you when you start any of the sequence if it is a positive then it converts to the positive if first sequence that is x0 is less than 0 then converges to the negative that means if x0 is less than 0 then it converges to the negative limit whenever x0 is a positive limit then it converts to the positive limit so look about that x0 is r minus 0 so r minus 0 contain less than 0 as well as positive both so it means it can never converts to the positive if you take negative then it converts to the minus of root 2 so it can never converts to this x0 what is the meaning of that this is my positive value so it once is a positive value so it means it converts to the positive root l that's as the right answer it now you can see minus 1 to 1 apart from the zero so you can see from minus 1 to 1 apart from the zero it consists of some negative values as well as some positive values so it means it converts either to minus 2 and this but it is not converges to always to root 2 so that's option cancel out only the correct option is b okay next one is the initial value problem has a unique infinite many are there so all of you know that when the initial value problem has a unique solution so we all know that there are the two condition firstly f must be the continuous what is the f is dy upon dx is my function of this second is whenever it's a bounded whenever this is less than of say m and the third is it satisfies the lipstick conditions are there that is this must be less than of say bounded r whenever these three conditions satisfied then we can say this will give you unique solution so look about that what is the function in this case this is my cos of xy make sure the coefficient should be 1 so clearly say this is the continuous that's fine and we all know what is the mode of f mode of cos is always be less than 1 so it is a bounded also what is the partial derivative of f with respect to y so we can see partial derivative with respect to y is x minus x sin of xy now if you take the modulus sign this will be here it is less than of the mod x mod of sin xy sin is always be less than 1 here and mod of x is always be uh, is is always be less than say a because is unique satisfied when it's less than a y minus y0 y0 is my here is less than b so it means this is my here therefore lipstick condition also satisfied 
these conditions are so satisfied both the conditions are satisfied so the answer is my unique solution is the correct answer rest all the options are discarded okay look about this question number 20th which of the uh, is the orthogonal weight vector are there that's a very interesting question are there there are several methods are there firstly either you can write this equation like of this and then find the roots of this and then so on but i will tell you the shortcut tricks behind that so you can see this is the stern leibniz problem are there what is the stern leibniz problem is r dash sorry uh, not the r dash what is the stern leibniz problem is r y dash plus q plus lambda of p of y is 0 where r p and q are the functions of the x whenever this is there then what is that you have to find the weight vector so the weight vector is nothing but my coefficient of lambda that is a simple shortcut to x for you so what is the coefficient of lambda is p so the right answer of this is my p of x so my target is to find the p of x how you can do that so i can simplify this firstly so i can write as y dash of this plus r y double dash plus q plus lambda times p of y is 0 so i can make them in this form that's the coefficient is 1 so y double dash plus r dash upon r y dash plus q upon r plus lambda p upon r of y is my 0 fine now you can equate the coefficient i can write this value as minus of this is 0 so you can equate the coefficient what will happen r dash upon r is minus 3 lambda coefficient of lambda is my 1 so that means p upon r is my minus 1 and q upon r is my 0 so from here you got q as a 0 from here you can easily see that r is nothing but my minus of 3 of x when you substitute the value of here what will happen p is nothing but minus e raised to power minus of 3x or since minus is a constant e raised to power minus 3x is my the weight coefficients are there is the right answer what is the meaning of the weight factor is that is you have to multiply this there are the two solution ym yn of dx must be 0 so for what value of the w this will be 0 so you can see this value is here so this is a constant value so the constant doesn't matter about that so the right answer is a okay look about the last question is there so this is the partial are there so what is given to you this is the steady state solution is given and your target is to find the value at u value at x is equal to 1 this is your task again a very simple state forward are what is the meaning of this steady state that means this is my zero so once this is zero if you substitute here it means this value is my zero so once it is zero what is the meaning of that u is nothing but the function of the x only so what is the meaning of that this is nothing but c1x plus c2 that's the meaning of this now we can apply this one so first initial condition does not give you anything so u of 0 comma t is my 1 what is the meaning of that x is 0 x is 0 so this is 1 0 plus c2 so c2 is my 1 now second is u of 2 comma t is my 3 so what is the meaning of that this 2 c1 plus c2 c2 is my 1 so what is the value of the c1 c1 is again my 1 so what is the answer of this u is nothing but my x plus 1 So now your target is to find the value at x is equal to one. So what is the right answer? Is my two is the right answer. Rest all options are wrong. So correct answer is my B. So this is the way you can solve these six question in a very simple manner. I hope you can like these videos. We will see the next lecture on the questions related to 22 to 30 and of this gate 2022 mathematics. Till then you can simply follow this playlist channel name here for the various previous videos. I hope you can like share and comment these videos best of luck students happy learning